Hey guys, it's Nipesy and welcome back to some more Sonic Riders and in this video we are going to be checking out some of the unlockable characters that we can play as in Sonic Riders. So these characters can be unlocked through completing the story mode of this game, if you complete the hero story mode, or if you complete the Babylon story mode, or even if you complete all of the missions on mission mode. So let's go ahead and check out these new characters. Okay guys, so we are here at the character select screen and as you can see at the bottom row here, this is all of the unlockable characters that we have unlocked. So the first character is Cream that you unlock through the hero story mode and we have Rouge as well who is unlocked through the hero story mode as well and same for Shadow as well. And if you go all the way over here to the top right you can see we have unlocked Dr Eggman and we unlocked him when we completed the Babylon story. And now for these other characters, these robots, they're a little bit more tricky since for E1000G, I think that is, or 10000G, you have to actually play the game for about 20 hours or longer, I believe. And for the E10000R, uh, this character is a lot more tricky because you have to actually play the game for a total of 50 hours. So if you are trying to go ahead and complete the mission mode then you can do so and if you actually go over here for these characters like Knights, Ai Ai and Ulala who are of course Sega characters you can actually unlock these guys from completing all the missions on mission mode. Also you guys may be wondering why I have not done a video on the mission modes. I decided to not do a video on that so I apologise about that guys. When it came down to it I didn't want to be spending so much time making videos on mission mode where I could be showing off more cool stuff like these new unlockable characters instead. But luckily off screen I decided to go back and play through this game to unlock everything so we're going to be going ahead and showing off Cream for the first character that we're going to be playing in this video. So, I already have the stage select where we're going to be racing. So, let's go ahead and select Cream with the smile board. And there we go. So, let's get ready to start. Now, the race is about to begin. Okay, so we are here at Sega Carnival. There we are. There's Cream. Okay, we are ready. So this is a brand new stage that you can actually unlock by completing the story modes. So that means unlocking all of the missions and all the emblems for Wave, Storms and even Jets mission. So to unlock Jets missions you have to actually complete all of the other story modes, all the mission modes, sorry. So um, I pretty much did all of them, I completed Storm's mission and Wave's mission and then eventually I completed all of the Jets missions and they can be quite tricky as well since they are a select bunch let's go up here, there we go but this is a really cool stage though since it pays so much for the whole Sega games which I really love, like here we're coming up to Crazy Taxi and if you go over to the left you can actually get a shortcut by jumping in the Crazy Taxi himself, well not the same guy but still that's obviously not the same person there because we know it's Beating Joe that's behind the wheel if you guys know from Sonic and All-Stars Racing so let's go through here there we go and if you go through that ring you do actually get some rings which is very nice Pikes in here and I actually want to go below this time let's go below the docks and I love that they included uh, Billy Hatcher in this game if you guys don't know I love Billy Hatcher this was like one of my childhood games I played a lot of it. like even my sister loved playing this game I think she loved it more than I did even though she wasn't really that good at that game but don't tell her I said that um, but yeah I, it's a really fun game and of course we're coming up to uh, Super Monkey Ball I believe or something like that I can't remember the name of these games but yeah Super Monkey Ball seems about right oh nice I hit him let's go below here so let's go up there we go so this is a nice little shortcut where we can go to the end of the lap right over here which is really awesome okay get ready there we go nice all right so we've got 100 rings now guys very awesome um should i yeah let's go forward there we go and of course there's um knights i believe when we come up to here so yeah, there's Billy Hatch and Knights, and Super Monkey Ball, Crazy Taxi, and there's actually another variant of this stage, uh, which is called Sega Illusion, which we will be checking out in this video. 
and there are some different games that are included in that racetrack that are from Sega uh, and they're really awesome and I probably prefer this one to be honest because it's just so happy and cheery and bright I love it okay let's actually go down this time because we didn't actually get to see what it was like here we go as we come up to the final lap now the final concluding lap to be that matter there we go we have finished the stage the race same thing so we have just got below three minutes on that stage which is very nice but yes very awesome there so let's go ahead and go back to the menu okay we are going to be doing another race on free race so if we go all the way over here we can see that we have unlocked digital dimension and i believe we unlocked this racetrack when we finished the babylon story so of course you can even do the babylon guardian if you'd like but we're going to be doing Digital Dimension because we didn't actually check out this stage uh, in the main mission, in the main story mode. But I believe you can actually check it out in mission mode which is really awesome. So for this next race I'm going to be playing as Rouge the Bat with her board called Temptation. And she is as well a fly character so let's go ahead and start the race. Okay we are here at Digital Dimension. All oh, right. So yes, as you can tell, this is a very spooky stage, but it's really awesome nonetheless. A very good start as well to add. Oh, there's Abachow. I think you should get out of here because you're going to get sucked up by some horrible goonies. That was a bit slow there, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. We can just go through here and blast off. There we go. And as well, some of you guys have been asking if I'm going to be doing uh, the next Sonic Racing game. And I am actually going to be checking it out. That's what I had uh, in plan whilst I was starting off this series. My intention was to play the second game as well. So I was really glad to see that you guys would actually like to see Sonic Riders 2. Which is of course Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. Uh, so that is going to be the next Sonic uh, Let's Play to say. Let's go through here. As we can fly over through these hoops. There we go. And it's great that I've been doing like the mission modes in the background because it's given me good practice and stuff. Um, and as well, I I've played this game for so long, so obviously I'm up to scratch, or if I'm not up to scratch, then it doesn't exactly look good, does it? <laughs> but I think I've been doing pretty well, to be fair. Okay, let's go through here. But I love how they did like a different variant to the whole digital dimension. Uh, you know, where you, fight, uh, where you fight against the Guardian. I love that they added like an extra, day, uh, an extra stage. And if you can't already tell, I haven't had that much sleep, which is why I'm like... <laughs> My brain is trying to function, but it's very tricky. Okay, a nice uh, link there. Link 4, that's very good. It's quite hard to actually get a high link if you're not a power character. I've noticed that. Okay, we can just go down, it's fine. Yeah, we, we don't really care about that, we're fine. Okay, there we go, we got Sexy Bat. Didn't quite get an S, uh, an X rank, sorry. Okay, final lap. Okay, I wonder if I'll be able to finish this track faster than Sega Carnival if I can pull it off. Since, you know, we started off very early with the uh, level 3 boost, thanks to that item box, so that's a very good advantage if you're a fly character in this racetrack. Okay, Eggman's trying to catch up to us, that's not good. Oh, look at him. <laughs> his eggs, uh, eggs? His, <laughs> his legs in the air, not his eggs, jeez. Oh, that would be quite funny actually, if he had, um, like, eggs as like an attack where he'd throw an egg or something, that would be so funny. Come on, I need to go up the, come on, there we go. Can I do it? Nice one, okay. And here we go. So that's a very good thing that you can do whilst you're loading up a jump. Is that you can actually boost through, which I love. It's very helpful if um, you want to try and stay above the pack the same first. Like what we did just there. And we are finishing first, of course. Just under three minutes once again. And Cream trying to catch up to us right there. Okay, guys. So we're going to be doing one last racetrack. So let's go ahead and check it out. 
Okay guys, so for the next racetrack we are going to be going to the other variant of the Sega stage or Sega racetrack which is of course called Sega Illusion which is a illusion course with a Sega theme so let's go ahead and check it out and this time we are going to be playing as a character that has a unique extreme gear with Shadow the Hedgehog and if you go ahead and you select this character you can actually see that he has a an extreme gear type that are actually heather air boots or whatever you want to call them heather shoes whatever you want to call them but they are super duper awesome as you can see here he is not on the board he is using his shoes to hover so let's go ahead and check it out guys okay we are here at sega illusion Oh, the colours are so pretty. Okay, that should be a good start, I think. Yes, there we go. Okay, we're not going to jump for that, it's fine. Because I was a bit rage about hitting those uh, Opa Opa things. Let's go through here on this rail. There we go. Alright, we've got a nice uh, track on the, on the pack. Track on the pack. So as you can see there, I just hit a very nice uh, shortcut there. And it's best if you don't uh, boost on that little area because it maxes it maxes out your speed to uh, 200, and I believe that's like the same speed as uh, level two boost, which is very good. Now let's go on this rail. There we go. Nice. Okay. So that rail can be very tricky there. So if you just focus on the rail and uh, not mess it up, then I think it'll be fine. Okay, I want to go through here now. Okay, right. So if you actually go on the right uh, dash panel, I believe you can actually get 100 rings. Uh, so I'll try and see if I can get that for you guys. Okay, let's avoid these guys. Oh, jeez. They can slow you down very badly. But if you're a power type character, you can actually punch through them. The poor things. Let's go through the shortcut once again. Why not? It's very pretty as well, since, you know, fireworks go off when we hit the top, uh, the top shortcut, or whatever you want to call it, the backflip. I don't know what to call it, but yeah. And they are, they are really, really awesome. And I believe if you hit through the orange circles, like you can see with the dots, uh, which is of course from Knight, I believe if you're a fly character, it will make you uh, fly through the, uh, the hoops, I think. Which is really awesome. Right, let's go through here. And I actually want to go uh, over to here. Did I get it right? Oh, okay. Right. Okay, I think I know how to get the 100 rings now. I can't remember how I was supposed to do it since I haven't really played this game in like a week or something. Because um, I was unlocking everything after I finished recording the Babylon story, but I haven't really played it in a while since, of course, I've been focusing on editing something that isn't Sonic on the channel. And that was kind of like another subconscious decision as to why I didn't want to do the mission mode, because, you know, I don't want to be doing loads of Sonic content all the time. So, yeah, we are going up to Space Channel 5 once again. And I think it's really cool that there's a lot of Sega references going on in this stage. Uh, let's see if I can get this right. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry dudes, I need to get past. I might not actually need that 100 ring uh, box now. I might be fine to be honest, but I could try and see if I can get it. Okay, not quite. But you can kind of see where you can go ahead and get that ring box. Anyways, let's finish the stage. There we go. We have Kevin first. Awesome. Three minutes five. All right. And I've got everyone else. Poor things. Well, Rouge did catch up a little bit. All right, guys. So we're going to be going back to the menu. So guys, I'm afraid that's all we have left for this video of Sonic Riders. But if you'd like to see some more where I check out these other extra characters such as Knights, I, I, Ulala, and these robot characters, and even Eggman, Please let me know if you'd like to see that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like. And as well, leave a comment on what you'd like to see on the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on all of my videos. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I will see you on the next video of whatever I make next. Until then guys, see ya!